All right, nieces and nephews, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be uh, two moto vlog ish here in two videos, which is uh, something I haven't been doing lately. It is now, as of two days ago, uh, Biketoberfest in Daytona Beach. And as you guys know, I live not even a half hour from Daytona Beach. But we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, why I don't really go to rallies. I, I think a lot of you can relate. We are gonna go check out a few things, but we're not gonna get too crazy. But first we're gonna start with a little ride, me and the old lady. Got the Swamp King going. Got her Black Betty. Hell yeah, Bam -ba Lam. I don't know what I don't know what they say there, but we'll see you on the road. All right, boys, here we go. Biketoberfest. We're gonna go all the way in the D land. We're gonna go have lunch at our spot. Now uh, we've been there before on the channel. OB's, OB's the land. I don't like coming through this grass. Okay. Oh dang, you're trying to get all tight through there. So uh, we, we didn't get to, uh, I'll say the word enjoy, any of the Daytona Bike Week festivities uh, back in February, March, whenever it was because I was working for Teddy Morris' Harley Davidson, uh, but I say enjoy loosely. I'm gonna be pretty honest with you. It's not It's not just that I don't like big crowds, I really don't. I'm also kind of intimidated by them a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's like a, I'm not scared of them. It's just, I don't know, I just know that I don't like being there. So the thought of going to one, to a large crowd intentionally is like, eh, it kind of puts me on edge a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but also, it's Daytona. You know, everybody brings their bikes in. They ride them in. They trailer them in. Hey, if you trailer your motorcycle to Daytona and you have a Florida license plate on your trailer, go home. <laughs> the I hate Florida. these helmets. These are the cringiest helmets I've ever seen in uh -huh. my life. You heard it. You heard it here first. From oh, oh, is that rain up there? Anyway, I, no, I'm not. I, I, I get why some people might trailer their bikes. You know, maybe they can't sit on a motorcycle for longer than 15 minutes. I don't know. But anyway, I don't want to be around a bunch of a, a drunk people. I don't want to be around a bunch of people hot rodding and showing off on their motorcycles. You know, it's just accidents waiting to happen. And maybe it's this way every year, and I don't just don't know it because I'm not aware of it. But you know, back in February, I heard the cops were like really, really bad. You know, if you're if you revved a little bit too loud, you know, you're getting tickets for it and. I don't know. I just, I don't want to put myself in a position where, you know, that might be a risk. So, you know, I say enjoy Bike Week, you know, very, very cautiously. So, Biketoberfest, even though it goes on in, in Daytona Beach, you know, all the, all the stuff around, you know, has something going on. So, we're going to OB's. We already like the place anyway. It's local. We're going to have some lunch. Always good to be out on the road team. This is like the third time in a row I brought the Road King out instead of the Dyna. I know some of you guys really hate that Dyna. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about the way you feel. I, I don't, I like it. I don't know. I just, the Road King is, is the king. So we're out on the king today. Anyway, and then, uh, well, looking at that weather over there, we'll kind of have to play it by ear. But our thought is, you know, we're both hungry. Today was little man's last football game. You know, we had to get up kind of early again that's uh, that's another thing about saturdays while he's been at football it's always i don't have to you don't have to wave at everybody during bike week right okay well she's not going to answer me but... oh i didn't know you were asking me <laughs> no you don't have to okay thank you for you don't your... have to wave at anybody ever you don't want to yeah it's true exactly thanks for reeling it back in for me no, but uh, assuming the weather cooperates, we're gonna, we might head over to the Ormond Beach area. And I know I'm asking for it. Oh, man, I'm getting sand picked up all over. Yeah, that's it. Murders. Who needs a dually, anyway? What do you what do you use that thing for? Anyway, besides kick sand up on bikers. Yeah, uh, yeah I just talked about not liking crowds. And, you know, so maybe I'm asking for it. But, you know, we might check out Teddy Morris's, which is, that's the Daytona... You guys might remember it as Rossmeyer. The parking lot's gonna be just packed. It kinda looks like a swap meet it's set up out there. It's a bunch of vendors. I don't know why people wait until bike rallies. They, they, they bring their bikes to these rallies. Oh my God. And then they say, oh, now I'm gonna spend $1,500 on LED lights. Like right this, I mean, 
I don't know. Maybe it's because you're in the moment and it's like, well, I'm already here. I got $1,500 burn a hole in my pocket or however much it costs. I don't know. I, I don't want to put that shit on mine. But anyway, that's what that's what those vendors are. And we might go to uh, the uh, the Iron Horse Saloon, which we've been to one time. Again, these are popular destinations. So they're going to be crowded. I know that, but I, I also know that when I go there, I'm going to bitch about it. Self-awareness. Man versus self. I think we learned that back in middle school. Anyway, we're gonna head up to OB's. We'll see you down there. All right, well, we made it to Destination Daytona. Uh, we decided not to record at OB, that's fine. Uh, all it took was coming in here for the first time to say I will never do this again. It is absolutely bonkers. It is cool to see a bunch of bikes, but it's a bunch of the exact same bikes. You know what I mean? So it's like, how many, look, can you count the black road glides in the audience? Huh? I mean, there's a Hayabusa, okay? It's a little different, but... That one's pretty badass. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, getting in here, waiting in all this traffic, just to come in here and park and whatever. Not a big fan. We're gonna make the best of it. I mean, we've got about 10 miles to walk until we get to anything, uh, any sort of, of civilization. But I'm sure when we get there, we'll both have already pissed our pants and are be dying of thirst for a Diet Coke or something. <laughs> she doesn't think I can drink Diet Coke out here. Yes, you can. I know you can. Yeah, I can. I, I probably whether you I, will or not, that's a different story. Yeah, whether I will or not, it's a different story. But we'll give it the old college try. I'm not gonna say which college. It could be a Division II college, but we're gonna give it the old college try. All right. So uh, first of all, big shout out to JMP Cycles. I had to take a shit so bad, man. Walking up here, I could taste it. If you want to know what that tastes like, it tastes like shit. Plus, Beaumont was chatting my ear off the whole way here about how she had to sit down, go poop, and all that stuff. So liar. She doesn't poop. I, and Beaumont has never pooped in her entire life. I don't know how women do it. They just don't do it. But uh, no, thankful. I, I was kind of worried that the bathrooms were going to be closed, honestly, but they're not. So we're going to go find an ice cold beverage, maybe a Diet Coke. Water at would actually really hit the fucking spot right now. But beer is like 95% water, so. Do I want 100% water or 95% water? That's the question for now. We're gonna answer that question here in just a minute. All right, we found the horny section. I don't come here for this. I'm not offended by it, by any stretch of the imagination, but it just seems so cliche. You know what I mean? So many interesting about If they really wanted to make it interesting, they'd do a nudie contest. What do you think? Which one's your favorite so far of these girls? I actually haven't looked all that. I can't even see from back here anyway, but this one's blonde. This is like the world's largest swap meet for motorcycles, basically. Well, not even a swap meet, like traditional biker swap meet, like a regular old flea market type swap meet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the foxtail came off of that poor dummy's chaps yeah i don't know i mean it's kind of fun to come out here because why not we ride motorcycles and so does everybody else but at the same time it's just the same old same old you know it's not we've seen some pretty cool shit. don't get me wrong i don't mean to just trash talk it but i don't know if it's worth like riding all the way over here for just to see bikers and leather mamas and Shit, I really don't want to see sometimes. For me, it's like, it's all right. It's like, because I live here, it's okay to come over. I don't know that I would like plan a vacation around it. You know what I mean? It just, I don't know. Harley people, you know what I mean? Harley people. We ride Harleys, but we're not Harley people. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. All right, so the original plan was to hang out here at Destination Daytona for a little while and then head over to Iron Horse one of the like traditional biker bars in the area. We did learn, I don't know if I said this in Helmet or not, we did learn that the broken spoke was closed due to the hurricane damage, which is a, usually a big draw. So with that being closed, the other bars are gonna be just two packs. So what we decided to do is just head on back over to D-Land, hit up the old Glenwood Tavern, probably not gonna be crowded. It feels like home there anyway, so I've, kind of had my fill of this whole spectacle so what about you baby you want to go tear it up on main street daytona or what hey if, if you like that stuff honestly more power to you really i just i don't see it so we're gonna head back to d-land go to glenwood tab or maybe get a taco or something 
I don't know. Well, that's going to do it for uh, Destination Daytona, fam. Yeah, if we wanted to, I mean, the Iron Horse isn't far. You just take a left up here. I don't know, whatever road this is. Now, my favorite way back to the land is also going back down that road, but I, I feel like the traffic's going to be real bad. So we're going to go back through uh, Bunnell. Unless Bull Mama is like dying to go to Iron Horse. Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah, I think we've had enough crowds today. I mean, it's cool. It's cool coming out here, seeing a different bike, seeing different people. What are we doing? Yeah, we ain't stopping. Hell no. Yeah, this is enough of bike bike Oktoberfest for me. And the crazy thing is, like, this is destination Daytona. This isn't even Daytona. This is actually Ormond Beach. And it's a good 30 minutes. Actually, with this traffic, it's a good hour to get over to Main Street Daytona where, like, all the shit's going on. So, uh... Yeah, no, I had fun. I, again, I, I hate to sound like I'm just bitching. I do a good amount of bitching, but uh, that's enough. That's enough. Look at all these bikes at the pilot station. They ain't buying gas. Oh, we, it's all yeah. turn right only. Yeah, yeah. All right, so off we go. And now, if we try to turn around up here and go back the way that we normally go back to town, it would be an absolute mess. So, this is a way back, and we've gone this way before, so this will be fine. It is definitely noticeably cooler right now than it was a few hours ago. That's for damn sure. What do you think, baby? It sure is. I think it's all your underarm sweat. Oh, yeah. what is this? Is that any motorcycle cops? I don't know what's going oh, on. Oh, I broke down chopper. I'm surprised. Oh, shock and awe. The thing is, like, there's no such thing as a regular chopper anymore. Everybody has the same exact Sportster chopper. The same one. Sportsters are pretty reliable, so I don't know what you have to do to make one break down. I, you, somebody, if you know how to make a sports chopper break down, aside from running out of gas or oil, let me know in the comments. It's pretty crazy. To me. I'm not waving, dude. There's like a million bikers here this week. He's not waving. He has both arms out. Oh, don't take away the fantasy from me, okay? He was waving at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He has to ruin everything. Uh, not sure what's going on over there, but not interested. Anyway, we're going to head back into Z-Land. Not sure if I'm going to film anything or not up here at the Old Glenwood Tavern. And we might just wrap up the day there without cameras. Who would have thought? Actually, we've been doing that for a while the last month or so. So, so, so. So, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. I'm going to enjoy these straight, flat, Florida roads for a little while. I got no problem with it. We'll see you on the flip side. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this video up. I do appreciate you coming along. Uh, no glasses today. Normally, I make sure to put my glasses on for outros, but I just don't feel like it. Uh, this was a couple weeks ago, uh, Biketoberfest. Like I said in the video, I'm, I'm glad we went just to kind of experience it. Um, I, I may do it again for actual bike week, you know, coming up in February, March, but again, whenever that is. But I don't know because it's just a lot of... It's a big crowd. I'm not a big fan of big crowds for all the reasons I mentioned in the video, but we still had fun. I mean, honestly, my preference is just a regular old Saturday or Sunday or whatever, just getting out with the wife and going somewhere and doing things, you know, in a part of town we haven't been to before or a place we haven't been to before, or even some of our local haunts that we go to anyway. That's more my speed. I think a lot of people in, uh, in this audience can can relate to that especially if you're my age or older which the uh, statistics on the old youtube analytics says that that's the case anyway uh, i do appreciate you coming along for this video and all videos and until next time we'll see you later